let's start the next one today we are going to learn this is the next option that is table okay last time we have completed this particular all the options in this section and here we have already know about yes, this particular text tool and next one that is the table tool just click on this and if you want to just decide the number of rows and columns for the table you can easily just type here the rows and numbers call numbers rows and columns number if you want to just number of columns that is 5 or 6 and uh, six rows and number of columns will be four or five and just use tab or just draw your table like that just this okay and you want to just add some text with that so after drawing that after draw this table just double click in this particular section you can able to write particular text in this particular table just double click in this section and after entering in this by using double click of the left click of mouse, just type just like this roll number. And if you want to just move from one cell to the next cell using the tab button and just write here student name. Student name and again, just use tab, just type your class. And result. And last one session, right? After doing that, if you want to just align the particular text, you can go with that. Here we have the option by which we can just align the particular text in the cell. So here we use the shortcut key, Control L for the left, Control R for the right, Control E for the center, Control J for justify, as we use in MS Word, right? And if you want to just remove the alignment, you just can go with the Control plus N. So just let's try with this shortcut key. Just press Control plus R. You will get the position right. R for left, right. L for left. E for center. J for justify. If you have the multiple lines, then you can go with the justify, right? So firstly, just place your cursor and press E. Yes, sir. And write it. Press Control E. You can easily handle this particular text with that. Okay. And using tab to move from one cell to another, and again just go with that and use the write some roll number like that. And then type some name Sonia and class test and result pass and session 2021-22. Right. So you can just type this particular data and you can manipulate your data in Coral Draw as well. Just type here Ashish and This class and result fail and 2021-22. Right. And you want to just align this particular text. You can just try the shortcut key as we as I told you. If you want to just make bold this particular text, just select it and click on B. But we can't select the all cell and use the property. We can use the text property separately. For example, if we select it and click on B. Is it possible to select it and click on B or you can use directly control plus B for the bold, right? Control I for the delay, control U for the underline. You know very well. Okay. And after making the data, if you want to just remove this particular columns and convert the table to text, how is it possible? Okay. So firstly, we have to place your cursor in this particular section. And here's a table options available there, right? But we can use the yes, from this table that is a create new table. You can want you want to just create new table. You can also go with that, and you can also use this tool to create the table. Okay. Next one that is the convert text to table, right? And here's the last option: convert table to text. So you can go with that. At the last, we just go with that uh, this tool. Firstly, we just use what insert. If you want to just insert the column between these two columns. Okay, new column between these two columns. You can go with that. And here we have insert. You can insert the row, column, and left, right, row, columns, above and below. You need to just select the particular cell like that. Just hold it and drag it. It will select it like that, right? And then you can go with that and just click on insert. You will get all the option is activated here or activated here. You can choose any one. Here we choose what column to the left. Just see there, a left column coming with that, right? 
You can also go with that if you want to just insert yes, the new row. You can go with that at the bottom or top. Here we want to just row below. Just click on this. You will get the new row at the bottom. Understood? And similarly, if you want to just delete this, yes, row, firstly you just select it and then you just move on table. And here's the next option: delete. If you want to just delete the row, just go with that. So here we have the option by which we can just manipulate the rows and column by using this tool. You need to just select the particular cell. If you don't want to select this, you can go with the tool. Just click on table and here we have the select option. If you want to select the cell, just select it. Row, column, you can choose anyone. So here we choose cell. That's why it is selected here, right? Next one, yes, just go on the table and if you want to just delete this particular column, just go with the column. It will delete from this section. You will get the previous data like that. Clear? Next option, here we just choose the next option that is the distribute. Why we use distribute? For example, if we have a different width of the particular, for example, here we have a different width of the columns like that. Okay, there are odd width of this particular table columns. So firstly, just select all the columns like that. And if you want to just equalize the column width of the table, you can move on this distribution or distribute option and click on row evenly. So here we want to just column evenly because height of the each row is equal. So we want to just adjust the column width equally by using this option. Just click here. What happened? All the columns with equal size, right? Equal width. Understood? Yes, sir. Okay. Next one, just click on this. And here we have the merge cell. You know very well why we use merge cell if you want to just make multiple cell into a single cell if you want to just convert all the multiple cell into a single cell you can just select the multiple cell and just use merge option merge cell option we have also the option by which we can here we have the option by which we can just merge it just click on this it is the option by which we can just combine the cell in shortcut key control plus m you can go with that and if you want to just split the cell here we have the next option just move on this and you can just get the previous step or previous cells like that. Understood? So this is the tool by which we just merge the cell. And if you want just, again, just want to get the previous, undo the combine, just click on this, you will get the previous one. Okay? And if you so, want to distribute, if you want to just split this particular cell into two columns, so you need to just move on here and just use the select cell. And after selecting the cell, we will get the two options. Just see there. Here we have the multiple row. You can insert the horizontal line and you can also insert the vertical line or you split vertically. So either you can go with that or you can also move here and just use the split into rows and split into columns. Both the options is available in this particular section. So we just move on here and just type two and click on OK. Just see there. Here we have the two columns, right? Similarly, we want to just divide this particular cell. So need, we need to just select this cell like this and then we go to which option split rows just type here and how many rows we just type here three you will get the three rows in this particular cell clear so that's the option yes. by which we can just manipulate the cell numbers either row or columns okay next move here we have the next option that is Unmerge. I have already told about that. Unmerge properties. This is the unmerge properties. When you just move here, select it and click on unmerge, you will get the previous one like that. If you want to just merge this cell, just click on this. It becomes single cell. Similarly, you can go with that, select it and click on merge. You will get the previous one. Clear you? Next one. Yes, here we have the next option that is convert table to text. Convert table to text. If you want to just Convert this particular table into the text means if you want to just remove the number of columns and rows, you don't want to line between this, you just move on the convert table to text. Just click on this. And here we have the option. Just see there. You want to just use separator. What do you want to separate? Use separator. We can use separator as a comma, tab, paragraph, or anything. So here we use comma as a separator, right? Comma as a separator in text, just click on OK. You will get the comma between the words, OK, between the headings or field names. If you want to just invert this particular table into text into table, just move here. And here we have the option that is convert text to table. 
you can go vice versa either text to table or table to text by using this you can easily convert the text to table but we have we need separator just like comma here that's why we use your comma and click on okay you will get the column like that understood if you don't want this separator as a comma you can go with that and choose your character by using the last user defined and use the symbol minus like that or you can also use the star symbol like this double star you can go with that star symbol like that right double star and click on okay so you just get the double star between the words or between the different cell values understood you can again go with that yes, and here we have convert text to table and we use what user defined that is a double star that's why we use double star and click on okay it divide into multiple columns like that clear here so this is the manipulation about the table and here we have the first option that is create new table when you move on this option we will get the same feature as i as we studied in the property bar during the creation of table from here okay first you just see there these two options available in this two section like that okay and we can adjust the height and width from here it is the width and it is the height you can also go with that increase the height and width by using this okay understood yes sir. This is the create new table this is the different some properties for the table you can decide the number of rows and columns by using this option and you can also decide the height and width of the particular table cells and click on okay you will get a table like that right just delete it and move on the table the serial after selecting this table we have some properties as well just see there double click on this or you just select the table like that here we have the property that is the border you want to just outside border you can go with that you want to just increase the border width you can go with that you can increase the outside border okay and you can also set the color from this section like that understood we can also set the background as well just see there if you want to change the background with that just select the cell like that and we can also set the background so here we have no background so we just use your black background you will get the black background like that and if you want to set here for the background just click on here and again set the background from this section if you choose a light color you just move it and if you don't need to use from here you can go with the other option and just choose the color from the this panel okay you can use any one from this section and after taking the color just click on okay you will get the color in this particular section right here we have also yes. some option you can choose from here directly by using this just click on this you will get the outside border with different colors if you choose black color like that clear next one here we have the margin property if you want to just give some margin within the cell values just click on this it will increase the margin so see here the margin from the top side will increase the see here top margin will increase so see here the distance between from the top line with the text this with the text just click on this the see here the top is spacing and increasing here right clear here yes sir and this is a lock by which we can just adjust this with this property is automatically adjust but we just unlock this particular properties we can adjust the all four uh, alignment or spacing margin with from the top from the bottom from the left from the right just see there we will just go with that what happened the margin increasing from the bottom okay we increase from the bottom here we just click on increase from the top and here for the increase from the bottom just decrease it it will decrease and if you want to just shifting from the left to right just click on this just see here the content is moving from left to right and just delete it and you just use what right margin just click on this it will shifting from the left to sorry right to left so this is the right margin this is top margin this is left and that is the last that is the bottom margin okay so here we have yes, the option by which we can just adjust the four property of the margin of a cell if you lock it just go with that if you unlock this just click on this okay if you lock it the all the margin automatically adjust when you just unlock it you can separately adjust the margin from here clear here next property yes, after doing that just select the cell like that 
And if you want to just decrease and increase the high end width of the table, just see there, here we have the 1.586, 1.586, just type here two. What happened? The width of the columns will increase from this section. And if you want to just increase the height of this particular cell, just type here 0.6, you will get the more height than the previous one. So we can increase the height and width of this particular table, columns or cells by using this option, right? Just move here and just set again 1.56 and move outside or click on this, you will get the width like that. Understood? So this is the property by which we can just yes, adjust the table using this, you can make it. Understood? Next one. Just go with the next tool. Delete this table. And if you want to just make the calendar, have you studied the macro option of this particular for a row? No, sir. Just move on this tool option, right? And here we have the macro option. Just click on macro option and just move on where that is the last option. This is the run macro. Just click on run macro. Here we have the predefined macros available in this particular section. Just click on this. And we want to just make the calendar by using the macro wizard. Just click on calendar wizard. And after getting the calendar wizard, just click on run. You will get the calendar like that. Here we have all the properties of the calendar. If you want to just make the calendar of which year you just set here. If you want 23 year, just click on this. 2022, just go with that. If you want to just all the months calendar in this particular page, just click on all. It will automatically check all the 12 months from here. Clear? And after that, you want to just yes, set the different look of this particular uh, been, uh, page look or outlook. Just click on this. We have the different format from here. You just move here one by one. You will get the different look of your calendar from this section, right? If you like this, you can go with that. There are different samples available here, right? We can choose any one from this section. And after doing that, just click on OK. You will get the calendar on your screen. Just see there, where we choose. What option? Here we choose this calendar like this or like not this, like 12 months calendar. This is the 12 months calendar, clear? And yes, after sir. that, here we can also add some holidays as well. Just see there, here the Sunday is by default holiday, but we want to just include the holidays days in this particular calendar. Just click on holidays and we can just add some holidays number. For example, here we want to just add 26 January. That is the Republic Day. Just type here Republic Day. Okay, so it will show Republic Day like that, right? It is on a holiday and click on add. You can go with that and add multiple calendars holiday by using this. And after that, just click on close. You will get the specific symbol on 26 January by creating or generating this. Understood? And click on generate. You will get the calendar. Yes, just wait a minute, just see you and click on OK and close it. Just see you. Here we have the 12 months calendar like that. And just see there, 26th color will change here because red, because it is a holiday. Because it is a holiday. So you will get the whole look by using this. If you want to just take a whole look of this calendar, just decrease the size of this and just press F9, you will get the look of this calendar, right? Is it good or not? It's look good, you can just try it and you just manipulate the calendar according to your requirement, right? Clear you? Yes, sir. Any doubt about this? No, sir. So just, uh, so just try this. If you have any query, just ask me.